Hey everyone, I'm Northern Explorer. Welcome to my channel. In today's video, I'm going to be adding insulation to my four-wheel camper. When it comes to camper insulation, most people buy a thermal pack and call it a day. I'm going to be insulating under the bed of my camper and I'm going to be insulating the tub of my camper. I've already got the mattress and the slide out removed, so I'm going to start with just cleaning up this area and taking a measurement. Looks like 77 and a half. Looks like 47. 77 and a half by 47. So I should be able to cover this with one continuous sheet of Reflectix. I added insulation in this area on my previous four wheel camper and it really made a big difference when the temperature dropped below 40 degrees. The added insulation also reduces the likelihood of condensation accumulating under the mattress. I found a bowl in the kitchen that just roughly matches these corner circumferences. So I'm just going to use this to uh, trace out the corner edges. And just to show you that this works. 45.5 degrees on the outside. I have my little electric heater going. It's about 60 in here. Fifty three on the inside without the insulation, sixty one on the inside with the insulation. The next step is to apply some double sided carpet tape. So I got all the carpet tape down that I think I'm going to need. I just need to peel off the back and then unroll the Reflectix in a way where it's not gonna stick down where I don't want it to stick down. That is pretty good, not perfectly square, but no one's gonna see it underneath the slide out. Just has a little bit of a overhang on this side, or underhang, it's flush here. And it's not quite flush here, that's all right. So this is only like R2, I think, but it's the reflective qualities that make it help so much. Hmm. One little thing I noticed here while I was putting the slide out back on seems to me like they should have put a little cutout in here so that the slide out lays flat because the way it's sitting here it is definitely not flat it's level mostly level over there but it's about a half inch higher on this side actually adding that insulation raised it up a little bit over there which probably helps somewhat keeping it level. Moving on to the tub of the camper, I'm using three quarter inch foam board that has an R value of four. To attach the foam board, I'm using a spray on glue that's made by 3M. I'm also using one and a half inch screws with three quarter inch fender washers as mechanical fasteners.
insulation adds an extra inch and a half to the width of the camper, which leaves just enough room to fit between the wheel wells of the truck. In total, I ended up adding about 33 and a half square feet of foam board insulation, which should really help keep our feet warm on those early spring and late fall camping trips. That's it for this one. Like and subscribe and I'll catch you next time.